PC modding is an area of in computers that I've always hoped to properly get into, and whilst I haven't really had the chance to do that yet, I have done a few kind of little mods over the years, finally this, plastic dipping that, but I never made videos on any of it because I always felt like they never really counted as serious mods and therefore weren't worthy of making a video on. But I need to stop thinking like that. I need to stop not making videos on things as terribly as those things may go. Basically, I recently discovered the existence of glass etching cream and really, really wanted to try it out for myself on a tempered glass PC side panel, especially as I already own a Silhouette Cameo 2 vinyl cutter, which just happens to be perfect for making glass etching stencils. The etching cream that I bought to try out was by Arm Etch, which I imported from the US, and it's what I've seen most people using. I took a spare tempered glass side panel that I have a replacement of off of a Bit Phoenix Aurora case just to try out some different random designs on. I was worried about how excessive the tint was on it and that, you know, therefore maybe my etches wouldn't be as clear as they would have been on a non tinted panel because it really is very tinted. I wanted to start by trying to etch a manufacturer logo so it seemed only fitting to go for Bit Phoenix's seeing as this side panel was from a Bit Phoenix case. I cleaned the panel, made the vinyl stencil, applied the vinyl stencil, and then started to apply the cream. All of the guides that I'd watch on YouTube said to use a paintbrush and then keep the cream constantly moving for six minutes, washing it off with cold water after time's up. They said that this way you're sure to get even coverage and good edges. However, after the six minutes was up, and after washing the cream off, and after letting the panel dry, whilst from a distance the edge looked good, close up, you could see that what I got was not in fact a nice, clean, beautiful edge, but instead a very patchy one. After studying both my footage of applying the cream and the etch itself, I decided that what had probably made it patchy was how long it took me to initially get the cream onto the panel. So I decided that for my next attempt, I would use a knife to just kind of slather the cream on, and then once it was all initially on, then I could start moving it about the stencil with my paintbrush like I had before. For this etch, I went for the Team Valor logo from Pokemon Go, as that's the team I'm part of. Go Team Valor! I made quite a mess initially slavering the cream on, even getting some on the glass outside of the stencil. But as this is only a sacrificial side panel, it wasn't really a problem. If I had been doing a design for real, I would have made sure the rest of the panel was covered. Somehow, the etch came out even worse this time, with harsh streaks as well as the previous patchiness. I decided at this point to go back to YouTube and see if I could find any new tutorials that showed a different application method and found that how some people apply the cream is just to let it sit there for like half an hour to not move the cream around at all once you've got it on, so I thought that I'd give it a try. Although this time in the form of a little test square so that it would be easier to compare results as I tried different methods. I applied the cream with a knife like before and then just left it. This time, as well as a big line through the middle that could have only been from applying it with the knife, so the knife was out, there was also all these little dots everywhere. I decided that it was time to just ask Twitter for help, and what most of the responses that I got said was that it was probably a surface prep issue and that I should try to clean the surface with acetone and stay away from alcohol-based products. Now, what I had been using was this random Pelican screen cleaner, which whilst it says it doesn't have alcohol in it, may have had some kind of detergent in it. So as soon as I was able to, I ordered some 100% pure acetone to try out instead, and switched to using that to prep the side panel for the rest of this video. I was eager to try again now that I'd prepped the side panel of acetone, and this time applied the cream with this kind of spongy thingy that I found. And I thought that this etch came out looking the worst yet. It was even patchier and dottier than before, its only redeeming quality being that it didn't have the line through the middle. I took to Google to try to find out where the dots were coming from, and found comments that suggested they are from little crystals that are formed from the cream being stored below a certain temperature, which is very possible given that the cream was imported and that I'd purchased it off a random online website. So it was said that if these crystals were formed, the suggested fix is to put the bottle in hot water and then stir it until the crystals have disappeared. There was a second advantage to heating the cream out though, which was that I was now able to just pour the cream out of the bottle onto the glass. I didn't have to worry about marks from you know trying to apply it with a paintbrush or a knife or a sponge, which removes those variables. So I heated up the cream, made sure to stir it, poured it out onto the glass, let it set for about an hour this time to give the cream a chance to cool down before washing it off. 
and it worked. I mean, the etch wasn't perfect, but it was close enough to give me hope. It was only really let down by the edges not being perfect, which honestly I did expect given that the vinyl would, you know, have hot cream sat on it for about an hour and that I was using the wrong vinyl anyway to mask with. So, you know, I knew before I started that the edges might be a problem. So at this point, I wanted to do one final, like, proper picture etch to end the video triumphantly on. I decided on the symbol for the Jedi Order, just because I've been having a lot of dreams recently that I'm, like, in the Jedi Order fighting in the Clone Wars. And in case you're curious, in all of my dreams I have a blue lightsaber. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I did exactly everything that I did last time again, you know, heated up the cream while stirring it, poured it onto the glass, waited for an hour, and then washed it off. And the edge came out absolutely awful. The edges are awful, again, which, I mean, I expected, but I wasn't expecting it to go back to being patchy. Why the patchiness came back, I really have no idea. At this point, I just need to admit defeat until I can come back at it with better resources. It is worth mentioning that my budget for this video was literally zero, and the etching cream and acetone, you know, already broke that budget, so for the most part I was just trying to work with what I already had, and clearly that's not worked out very well. I know that I need to buy some proper stencil vinyl and see how that handles the edges, so I'm not really too concerned about overcoming that issue, but I think that the patchiness is going to take more trial and error. The first thing that I want to try is a different bottle of cream, perhaps by a different manufacturer. Also a different side panel, you know, just in case there's something about the specific one that's affecting the edge. It is also worth noting that the etch that presented the best results was the only single etch that I didn't use transfer tape on when applying the stencil, so it does seem very likely that um, you know, the transfer tape is leaving behind some sort of adhesive residue which is affecting the consistency of the edge. So, you know, I that that's that's one of the big things that I want to do to try out with different transfer tape. And lastly, I still think the application method is a factor. On the attempts where I poured the cream, the darker areas of the edge seem to kind of mirror the circle direction of the initial pour, but when it comes to that, I really don't know how to kind of get the cream on in, you know, kind of like a more seamless way, in a, in a way that won't kind of produce application marks, um, if, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so if you have any more suggestions than that on what I can do differently, then please let me know in the comments below. I actually really wasn't going to upload this video at first because it really is just a display of utter incompetence, but everyone on Twitter said that I should still upload it regardless, so if you hated this video, then blame them. But if you liked it and want me to make more like this, because most of the things that I try to do fail, if I'm honest, um, then, you know, please let me know by hitting the like button or, you know, leaving a comment below saying. But yeah, if you haven't already and want to see more of my videos, like my upcoming RGB memory feast, <laughs> then please don't forget to subscribe. You can also support the channel by becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.